Hello everyone, welcome to SourceCAD. In this tutorial, I will tell you about text styles and methods of creating new text styles in AutoCAD. Now, once you move to annotative tab of your uh, AutoCAD, you'll see on the text panel that you have default by default two text styles, annotative and standard. So these are the two text styles that you have already present in your AutoCAD drawing or AutoCAD software. But if you want to make your own text styles, a custom text style, then you should follow these steps. You can initiate text style manager by clicking this manage text style button here. So the text style window will pop up. Alternatively, you can also click on this small arrow and the text style window will pop up. Its command equivalent is a style and you can type style on command line, press enter and the text style window will pop up. So these are the three methods which you can use to bring this text style window. Now let's look at the things for the components which are present in this window. On the left, you, here you can see that we have two current text styles which are already present in our AutoCAD uh, drawing and the text styles are annotative and standard. Let's go and create our new text style. So click on new and name our text style and I'll name it as my text style and click OK. So now you'll see that the new text style has been added. Now we'll go on and make some customizations in this text style. Let's start with font. Currently the font is set to Arial. Let's change it and let's apply Calibri font. So here I'm changing this font to Calibri and you'll see that the font will be changed here. This is the preview box where you can see that the changed font appears. So go on change the font like this and you'll see the result here. So I'm changing it back to Calibri. So Calibri and here is the font. Now the font style is currently regular. If you want to change the font style to bold, bold italic, italic or the regular, the default one, you can do so. So let's go and change to bold. So right now I have changed my text style to Calibri and bold. Let's move on to the third setting. In this case, if you want to set annotative text style, click on this checkbox. And once you click on this checkbox, you'll see that paper text height is activated. And without that, only a height will appear in this callout. So if you want to make it annotative text style, click on this checkbox and specify the height of your text. But for now, I'm keeping it non-annotative. And you'll also notice that when you click on this checkbox, this annotative symbol will appear next to your text style. So let's keep it off now. And now here we have this non-annotative text style. If you want to specify a fixed height of your text, you can also do so. So I'm specifying a height of 0.5 units. This unit will be equal to the unit of your drawing. If your drawing is following mm, so this will be 0.5 mm. If it's in inches, it's 0.5 inches or whatever the unit this drawing template has, this will be the same unit. Now let's move on to the next options. So here we have some effects. If you want to make it upside down, click on upside down and here's the text. If you want to move it backwards, here it is. You can make it backwards as well. And you can also make it vertical, but this vertical option will only be available in certain type of fonts, .shx type of fonts, which are the classical fonts, which are no longer used. But still we have some fonts in AutoCAD, which can be used to make the text vertical. I'll go on and make text vertical also but for now I'll keep this uh, unchecked or although I just cannot keep it checked because it's not active so I'll move on to this option in a moment let's look at width factor so width factor is actually the width of a word or a piece of text if you will change it to 2 you'll see that the complete width of words uh, gets twice if you'll change it to 0.5, the words become very cramped. And that's the difference of uh, width fact changing width factor. But if you want the normal width factor, keep it at 1. Now the oblique angle, it's the angle which makes it italics, like something like italics. So if you'll change the oblique angle, for example, I'm changing it to 10 degrees, you'll see that here the text becomes italics. And the angle will be measured from vertical line. So if you'll change it to 30 degrees, you'll see 
major difference okay so for now I'll keep it at zero so these are some of the settings which I made and now I want to retain this text style so click on set current and yes and close this window now let's go and enter some text you'll see that my text style is now activated here and here we have now three text styles so let's go to ML and multi-line text make a text box and write a piece of text so auto CAD and you'll see that the text height is 0.5 and it's following all the conventions it's bold text style the font is Calibri which we have set and it's following all the conventions now let's compare it with the original text style so I'll click on this box and I'll change the text style to standard and now let's again write a multi-line text and I'll write AutoCAD in this case and you'll see the differences the text default text height font and everything will be retained so this is our custom text style and this is the original text style now let's go and write a vertical text so I'll again go to manage text styles and create a new text style and let's type vertical this time and click OK so here I'll create a vertical text style and let's select the font which can be used to create a vertical text so right now I'm selecting a font uh, which can be created uh, uh, which, which can be used to create a vertical text and you can see that the font has extension of .shx not all .shx fonts can be used to create vertical text but most of the fonts can be used and in this case this font can be used to create a vertical text now you can see that vertical uh, radio button is activated click on vertical and I'm keeping all the factors all the uh, other settings as they are and I'm not changing them click on apply and close so now here you can see that the vertical text style is activated let's go to multi-line text and let's write AutoCAD AutoCAD and now you can see that it's writing a vertical piece of text so in this way you can create even vertical piece of text also by changing the text style so I hope this was clear to you if you have any doubt leave it in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe if these tutorials are useful to you and once again thanks for watching